Hello everyone, this is Ajit here, and today we are going to cover about what is Cisco Firepower, uh, one of the most interesting uh, feature and the hardware or the software that is introduced by Cisco as a next generation firewall. So let's understand what is Cisco Firepower, and then we will also talk about FTD, FMC, and also we'll talk about uh, different hardware model that Cisco Firewall provide, and under which network design we can use which hardware module, or as a hardware or as a software. Okay, so let's start this video now. Cisco in 2013 uh, acquired a company known as SourceFire. So Cisco has its own traditional ASA firewall, as we already know about it. So ASA uh, has a different hardware model, and this is traditional firewall. That means that work on the concept of concept of stateful inspection. Now, when Cisco acquired uh, so SourceFire organization in 2013, then after working with on the source fire uh, and then on 2015 uh, cisco worked on this uh, code of source fire and released the code 6.0 in its asa and with this release code cisco introduced a new term which is called cisco fire power so prior to release 6.0 there was no firepower, but with the release of 6.0, Cisco introduced end-to-end -end to the market with Cisco Firepower, a next-generation firewall. Now, when we say next-generation firewall, then let's understand what exactly the next-generation firewall is. So next-generation firewall, that means this is a firewall which cater the market requirement. So Cisco already has its traditional firewall, ASA firewall. It was not able to fulfill the traditional you know, uh, recent market requirement now next generation firewall comes with the capability of feature which is called one of them is called next you know next generation ips feature intrusion prevention system ids feature which is intrusion detection system then url filtering and then also called uh, deep packet inspection so all these feature uh, is a part of next generation firewall and all these features are were missing in traditional firewall because in order to cater these uh, new requirements, Cisco acquired source fire company and come with the new version code, which is known as 6.0 and come with the market name Cisco Firepower. So what Cisco exactly does, Cisco already has it in the market Cisco ASA box. So what Cisco does on the same ASA box, as you can see here, so on the same ASA box, ASA 5500X, X10 for the different model version. Cisco has its own ASA software, and on that same ASA software, it integrates the Firepower services. So what it says, if I have this ASA box, now this ASA box has work will you know it will work as a traditional firewall, traditional firewall. I mentioned Steed FW, and on the top, it will install or integrate Cisco Firepower services as a software. Okay. Now when it merges. You know, on the same box, when it integrate as a software, then this together is called the FTD, which is a firepower threat defense. Okay. Now, this integration of same traditional box having a software or a hardware version, which combines together called the FTD. So, what Cisco actually does on all the its hardware model that it has, except hardware model five. 585 it integrate software version of firepower and on the 5585 you have to integrate the hardware module so that means on the addition same cisco firepower and cisco asa box here you have the hardware module and you will get the feature of firepower that means next generation firewall and below that we have the traditional firewall asa box so same box, if you want a traditional capability, then you can buy Cisco ASA firewall. But if you want to have the next generation capability on the ASA box, what you can do, you have two options. Either you can go with the hardware module, which is basically for 5585, or you can go with the software version or the virtual version, which is available on all the ASA model. Okay. Now, in order to control this, uh, your uh, management part, if you talk about, so Cisco ASA is managed by ASDM, which is ASA. Now, FTD is managed by 
FDM, Firepower Device Manager. So what happened that, you know, uh, for example, let's talk about we have, a, you know, uh, we have a customer who have uh, 50 small sites. Okay. Now, if he wants to uh, have next generation firewall capability on all the 50 sites, so what he can do, he can take an ASA box of different, different model that it has. And on the top of that, it can integrate a buy a license from the Cisco for the FTD capability. Okay. Now, in order to manage that, you have the Firepower device manager, which you can manage your this entire box. Okay. So all the policy configuration, you create the policy, you push the policy, everything that you do, you will do, you can do by the Firepower device manager. Now, the only thing is that FDM work on the concept called local. So that means it is local to the site where you have already deployed your FTD. So if you have in your network, if you have 50 FTD, so that means you need 50 FDM in order to manage those 50 FTD. Okay, so because it's local to that specific box only. Now, in order to have uh, you know better control in terms of uh, management, what Cisco come here later on, it come with a concept called FMC, Firepower Management Control. Okay, so now what FMC come here, FMC come with the feature cause call that you can install this FMC in your data center or in your hub site or in your regional site. And from there you can control all your different, different FTD. So if in your organization you have 50 FTD, what you all need is one FMC to control your FTD. So you don't need 50 FDM the way you used to earlier. Now with the single FMC installation as a software, you can manage all your FTD. So all the creation of policy, pushing of policy, any changes, upgradation, IOS upgrade, degrade, whatever things that you want to do with the FTD, you can centrally manage via the FMC. Okay. Now, if we move to the uh, another section, uh, let's talk about the hardware version. So as you can see here, 4200 series uh, of Cisco Firepower come with the is normally used in data center. 9300 is normally used in ISP service provider. 1000 series is used in the small branches and 3100 series is used in the mid-size branches and 4100 series also used in the data center. So all these four, you know, different, different hardware model that we have, which provides a different capability that you can use in a different, different locations as per your own requirement. I hope it is very clear to you guys what Cisco Firepower is and what is FTD, what is FTM, what is FMC and what different model that we have. So if you like the content, do share and subscribe the channel. Thank you.